What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So before we get into the topic of this video, I want to do a quick announcement and that is my Curvy in 30 Challenge Round 2 will be open for registration on June 5th. So for those of you who missed out on Round 1, I know a lot of you ladies were really really bummed about that. Don't worry, I'm doing a round two so you guys can join that on transformyourbody.com. And for those of you who have joined round one, round two will be perfect for you. I'm going to be adding some new exercises, going to be a whole new different workout routine. So make sure to go to transformyourbody.com and sign up for the VIP notification list to get notified on the details of the actual time when it's going to be open for registration. It's only going to be available for one week, so it's only going to be available for purchase for one week, you guys. So make sure you guys sign up to the notification list so you guys don't miss out on this. Alright, so let's get into the video. So as you can see in the title of this video, the reason why I say this is because I see so many videos out there, so many claims of, you know, do these ab exercises for a flat stomach and it's misleading you guys. You guys are busting your butt and you're not seeing any results. Why is that? That's because you're doing too much at the same time. You can't really maximize your gains when you're trying to do too much at the same time, like building a booty and getting a flat stomach at the same time. It's gonna take you way too long because you're gonna have to eat at maintenance level and it's just gonna be a way too much long of a time for you to get to your goal. And the main reason why this claim is completely wrong is because you can't spot reduce fat, you guys. No matter how many ab exercises you do, your stomach is not gonna get flat. Yeah. Just let that sink in. Ab exercises won't make you lose belly fat. So Daisha, what the hell are ab exercises for? Well, let me tell you. Ab exercises are to build the ab muscles. Just like doing a bicep curl, just like doing squats, you're building muscles. So that's the same thing with ab exercises. They're strength training exercises, so they're gonna strengthen your core and build the ab muscles. And when you're trying to lose weight or lose body fat, ab exercises help you retain those ab muscles while you're cutting so a lot of people forget to do any type of strength training exercises and they just stick to cardio when trying to lose fat and that's when they lose muscle as well so that's why it's very important to still do ab exercises when you're trying to lose body fat to help you retain that muscle so when you lose the body fat you're able to see the beautiful six pack all right daisha so how the hell do i get a flat stomach well, let me tell you how. So real quick, let's touch up upon diet. So diet is obviously the most important. If you don't have your diet right, you're not going to see any results. So you have to be in a caloric deficit for fat loss. The easiest way to calculate this, there's millions of calculations out there. So choose what you like. But this is the calculation I like to use. is taking your body weight in pounds times it by 10. And that's an average amount of calories to intake on a daily basis. Now you want to monitor uh, your weight, your measurements, and adjust your calories accordingly. So it's not going to be 100% accurate because it's just a calculation, but it's a good starting point. And being a caloric deficit basically means you're burning more calories than what you're consuming. Now there's two ways to go upon this, or maybe three. The first way to be in a caloric deficit for fat loss can be through diet. So that's the easiest, easiest way to do this is just eating less calories. Basically that. So you don't have to restrict yourself from your favorite foods. It's all about moderation and it's all about what fits within your daily calories. So I still don't restrict myself from pancakes. I still eat pancakes with syrup and strawberry and whipped cream. But I make sure that the rest of the day uh, I adjust my calories so I don't go over. The second way would be just by adding some cardio to your routine. Now this can be either slow steady state cardio or high intensity cardio. You can walk for about an hour, take a nice stroll outside if it's nice outside kind of like now where the summer is coming in or you can add some high intensity interval training which is the best cardio I think is the best because you only need about 20 minutes of hit cardio and you're gonna be burning calories throughout the day after that so it's called the afterburn it's so amazing it's a lot less time but you push push yourself throughout those 20 minutes and the rest of the day you're gonna be burning some calories and the third way is by doing both diet and exercise that's the best way to get the best results because you're going to be in caloric deficit by your diet and you're going to be burning even more calories with your exercise so this is going to be the best best way for you to get that nice toned small stomach that you always wanted and i also want to add that you want to make sure that you keep your protein high in order to help you retain muscle while in this cut you want to intake about one gram per body weight in pounds 
of protein every single day. All right, guys, so I'm going to give you guys two example routines, one for someone who can work out every day and one for someone who's quite busy and can only work out three or four days a week. So the first one is going to be for someone who can work out every single day. So what you want to do is take Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and do full body compound exercises. You still want to lift heavy because you still want to retain muscle. You don't want your body to just start eliminating your muscles because those are your hard own muscle. It's going to help you look toned when you start leaning down. And then Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, you want to do some ab workouts and hit cardio. But you always want to do HIIT cardio after strength training. You never want to do any type of cardio before strength training because first of all, you're going to be too tired to do any type of strength training and also your body's going to turn into your muscles for energy. So always do it after strength training. So do ab exercises and then do HIIT cardio or, or slow steady state cardio afterwards. And then you have Sunday as a rest day. And this schedule will be for someone who's super busy. So what you can do is do full body exercise every other day so you can do Monday Wednesday and Friday and do slow steady state cardio or hit cardio in the morning or after your weight training every other day so you're only gonna need to work out three days a week and that's enough for you to see really good results I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and learned a lot from this video because I really want you guys to learn. I want to teach you guys and make sure you guys always do your research. Don't just believe anything that somebody just says on the internet, including myself. Go research yourself and really just learn about what you're doing because I want you guys to really see results and not just, you know, say things to you so you guys can just take another year or two to see results. Like, it's, No, I want you guys to really see results now. I don't want you guys to waste your time. If you guys like this video, make sure to give this video a like and if you guys haven't make sure to subscribe and comment below any requests for any future videos and don't forget to go to transformyourbody.com and sign up for the notification vip list for curvy and 30 round two if you guys have any questions about that make sure to write them in the comments below as well and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my YouTube video. Now I have something really cool for you. I was doing a little quiz on my top personal tips on how you can get your perfectly sculpted booty. Doesn't matter what your goals are, I have something just right for you. So make sure to click the link right here or in the description box so you guys can get my top tips on how to get your dream body and booty.